Well, we are joined by Uganda's uh, golden boy, Stephen Kiprotich, and I'm uh, admiring his uh, medal here with his name, Stephen Kiprotich of Uganda. Welcome. Thank Welcome. You. Uh, can I take this as a friend? I give you my belt, you know, exchange. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kongs, Kongs, man. Thank you very much. H how did it feel at first when you were beginning the race? Uh, when we were beginning the race, uh, I feel comfortable. I had no injury, I had no pain in anywhere in my body, I was focused mm. and I was ready for, I, I was ready in the competition, so I was ready for it, mm. yeah. But did you at one point feel like you were losing it out, you know, w w towards the end, as the pass increased, did you feel at one point that you were losing it out? No, uh, at, at, at one point, no, I was not, I didn't feel I am losing, or I did not feel I'm winning. I was just, uh, I was just running, I was just enjoying it, mm. yeah. And then there's a point we saw you stopping to call upon your, your team Uganda behind you, your other co colleagues, but they couldn't catch up with you. Uh, did, did you feel like you are left alone? You're like a lone ranger in the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because uh, why I called him, I was trying to call him so that the come around and uh, morally, morally boost each other. You know, mm. you know when you, are, you, you have your opponent, then you, you feel comfortable. Yeah. No more, you don't have a lot of pressure, you are with him. Mm. You push together, even you can uh, discuss how we, we are going to move. But when I remain alone, then I, I knew the task has come to my side, so I had to fight. There is something you did as yeah. you were about to enter the, the, the stadium, the stadium. Uh, where you are seen swerving from one corner to the other. Uh, were you trying to beat off the Ethiopian behind you or you knew you had already reached the, the point where you had to start sprinting now? Uh, that was a fantastic point. In fact, uh, my fans have started calling me Swagger. <laughs> that, that, that you run staggering, staggering with you, that we thought we were going to fall down. No. That was uh, a a technique mm. I, I, I produce. You know, uh, uh, the Ethiopian who was uh, were together, I, I, I didn't expect him to run like that. The one I expect fall, up, fall back. So when I saw him, then I knew now the, the task has started. Mm. It was just joy. I, I, I can't express it, but mm. it was, I say it was just a joy. Let's now look at the big issue that everyone is talking about, the money you have. Uh, you want some serious millions of shillings. And we also ha understand there are some fundraisings going on for you in the country. Yeah. And we also understand Nike is going to give you a deal, uh, mm -hmm. around 150 million Ghana shillings. With all this money at your edge, yeah. what are we seeing from you? Uh, uh, let me first assure you that I am still a young man, energetic. Uh, I have. I'm still young and strong. That one shows that I need to go for more miles. You know? uh, concerning the money, yeah, well, fine and good. The money is there now, and this money is mine. <laughs> so if it comes to my account, it's another mine. So I, I, I will do whatever I want with, to mm. do with it. When everyone had, you know, the commentators say, keep a teacher of Uganda made in Kenya, yeah. the turn of Kenya. I mean, that's what everybody said, oh my God, mm -hmm. it's such a shame that we have a champion, but not made in our own country. What's perhaps your message uh, towards government support to sports? Yeah, that's what I am telling you, that we need to put things in action. So that, 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 that we, don't, we don't have time, to, we don't have a lot of uh, time to carry our athletes to go and train in a neighboring country because of uh, some few things the government can afford. Looking back the facilities, looking the Uganda Athletic Federation, there is no support there. Uh, like uh, if you compare Uganda with other nations, other nations are well organized. They have good vehicles for transporting the athletes, officials, uh, they have uh, structures, they don't rent, they invest in their athletes, they build the uh, stadiums, they build uh, good roads linking to the stadiums and the training grounds. They put their water, electricity, doctors, you know. Those are all the things we are, we are failing to produce, but I'm uh, requesting the Ugandan government or the state to provide that with such facilities. I will be very happy. 
Th thank you very much, Stephen. Uh, of course, there's so much to share with you, but yes. we cannot go on. I'm still uh, wondering whether you should have this as a friend, a mentor. Now, if you want to have this, <laughs> then you have to also bear. Uh, you have to agree. Two hours of well, running. Uh, yeah. We have to do a competition. <laughs> then you win. Then I, I, I surrender it to you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Greetings to your wife and family. Are you ready for competition? I am, I am, I am. I mean, you can go, but within the studio, maybe, not outside. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I like your You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah.